Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Advance. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and always human. Today, we have a very, very serious show in store for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. So yesterday, as I'm sure all of you are aware, Shannon Sharp went viral for audio of him having intercourse leaking all over the internet. At first, I thought it couldn't be true. Uh, but then as it turns out, he he went on Nightcap yesterday with Chad Johnson, where he himself publicly addressed it and admitted that, in fact, it was him. He expressed his contrition and all of that. But while all of that was happening, there were a lot of confusing things that were happening. And I ultimately walked away from the situation feeling very, very disappointed at Shannon Sharp and also disappointed in sports media. Prior to Shannon going live, how did I find out he was going live? He posted an image on his Instagram that we want to show to you now. If you're looking at the image, you can see him in a bed. No, not him in a bed. You can see a bed with his telephone on it. And in the right hand corner, you see a little pack, little thing, whatever, right? You can use your imagination as to wonder what it, wonder what it is. So he, I thought at that time they were using some type of humor. So then what happens? The live then commences and I have never seen a nightcap show from the beginning, but apparently what they do is they run pre-recorded ads, DraftKings and others. And prior to this, prior to the show starting, which is about an hour, there was an advertisement of Shannon Sharp, which was, I think pre-recorded or recorded that day of him promoting this product, which seemed to have a similar effect to Viagra. And as I'm watching this, I'm saying to myself, what the hell is going on here? Because this is a very serious situation. So why is this being marketed? And why is this the product that I saw on the, on the, on the, on the thumbnail on the bed? I'm confused. I'm truly confused. So the live then starts, starts off with Chad Johnson talking. Basically telling him, hey, look, man, what you did was very unprofessional, but things like this happened. We're kind of being lighthearted about it. And then in the midst of all of this, Shannon starts cracking jokes about his sexual prowess in the bedroom. And as I'm watching this, I'm saying to myself, what is what is going on here? Like, what in the hell is actually going on here? What we want to do now is we want to play the moments where Shannon Sharp was poking fun at this situation and talking about his prowess and even where he promoted the product. So we want to play that for you now and come back and react to the comments. Take a listen to Shannon here. Yeah. She had a 56. Yeah. Still get it in, y'all see. But anyway, <laughs> that, you know, I'm just saying, don't I'm just saying, don't I'm just saying, I'm just saying, don't hey, listen, it, it is what it is. Listen, you, uh, boy, hey, listen, you, you, hey, well, you, 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 you talk about you was here when you was well. We said, ain't nothing wrong with you, boy. You talk about your hips. Ain't nothing wrong with your hips. I told you, ain't no, hey, ain't, 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 ain't <laughs> nothing slow about but his walk. Okay. I can't move like I once could. Yes, sir. But the hips good. The hips, yeah. so, the hips yeah. solid. Yeah. Go, yeah. The, uh, the doctor told me their last 50 years, they said, them hips will still be good when you go. Yes, sir. But uh, I, I just, it, 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 it was, t it's, it's tough, obviously, being in a situation like that because that's something that I've never been in. But what y'all can do, y'all can get on this rowspark, row.co <laughs> slash nightcap and get $15 off your first order. That's what y'all can do. Ocho. When you lift weights, we got to get you on the cart. Hit Ocho, the treadmill but you first. Ocho, the step, real talk to Ocho, your boy. Hey, Ocho, I was, I, was, I was already knee deep for about 25. Right, right, right. Mm. I mean, that, that, how, 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 you were kind of short, too, in there, too, huh? I mean, you was that about, what, a minute, 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 five seconds? Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Hey, no. Hey, this ain't no YouTube short, but it's a full feature. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Ocho. Come on now. Don't do that. that I'm, 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 I'm just I'm just making sure because now it's out there to the world now. Now, now it's out to the world. And most, most of the time when something like that happens and you don't know what's going on, you know. So now you're gonna have people come coming at you sideways, you know. They want to see if the feature is really what it's what it's advertised to be. So you in you in a kind of good position. It's 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 somewhat of a bad thing. I think it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's nothing to be you know, embarrassed about. But what it what it does do? Yeah, I'm embarrassed by the Ocho. Damn, that's my most intimate moment. Yeah, and 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 that now now you got to understand the attraction and and the curiosity from the female species that's going to occur now 
and wanting to experience. Oh, they want to go. They, they want to go a couple of rounds with the champ. Yeah, they. they, they um, you know, they, if they, you they, have they, if you have an allergy, like if you're allergic to peanuts, you're allergic to shellfish, bee stings, and, and, uh, ants, or something like that, Ocho, yeah. you keep an EpiPen on you. Right. I keep these on me. <laughs> so if I, hey, I'm just telling you, if y'all yeah. ever see me sideways like this here. <laughs> I don't snuck you. You heard what Shannon had to say. I want to give you guys my unadulterated thoughts. I'm definitely, definitely disappointed in Shannon Sharp. I am. As somebody that supported Shannon Sharp, there's somebody that's been saying that he's going to be the biggest thing in sports media for years now. As somebody that loved him on Undisputed, I'm disappointed in him in ways that I can't even express. I'm not disappointed in the fact of what he was doing. Because that's natural. People do that. What I'm what I am disappointed about is everything that it that, that came after it. I'm disappointed in the fact that it, it feels to me that this was used as a moment to market this sex product. I'm disappointed in that. I really, really am. Because I thought Shannon is a I thought he was above this. I thought Shannon Sharp was above this. This seems like something you would see from the dirty section. To quote Hassan Campbell, he came up with that term, the dirty section. It doesn't seem, it's not becoming of a, of a person with his stature, stature in society and sports media. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't match. Number two, and I'm going to tell you what I told Marco, who's the co-founder of Dreamers Pro. I cannot even begin to fathom the 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 volume of embarrassment i would feel as a father who is in his 50s i'm not in my, i'm saying if i was in my 50s with children that saw that and had to witness their father in that moment and then to top it off to see me now go on the internet laughing about it talking about my sexual prowess in front of 250,000 live viewers what in the f is going on number three sports media is going to hell is going to shit. is going to the dogs there is no standard anymore in sports media there is none and in this moment shannon helped even drop the standard he he lowered the bar even lower when he's supposed to be amongst the people that are raising the bar up he's supposed to be amongst the people we're trying to aspire to reach to be again i'm not talking about the act i'm talking about everything that have, that it came now there's some people saying oh well you know do you want to be lighthearted about it because they this ain't a, this ain't one of the moments there is no way to spin this it's just Complete contrition, and that's it. No promotion, no show, no nothing. You go out here, you apologize, you get the hell on. You go promote a product on the next show. It's serious. The day Kobe passed, we did a show about it. We didn't even run, put an ad in it. The day Kobe passed, we did a video. We didn't put no damn ads in it. This ain't a time to be running no ads. This ain't the time to be promoting nothing. This is a serious moment. Because your brand took a serious... There are people out there talking about Shannon looks messy for this. If it was premeditated. There are people out there saying, oh, I don't believe that this was a mistake. I believe that this was premeditated. So you're saying, okay, fine, it wasn't a mistake. So now why isn't it... Why is it, why is it being a moment, being used as a moment to poke fun and crack jokes about it and promote these products. I, I, I don't get it. Y'all see, we got to open, we open up another channel where we're going to be talking about uh, 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 current events, economics, politics, business. I'm sick of sports media, or rather I'm sick of what it's becoming. The sports media is turning into one big ass dirty section where anything and everything goes.
There is no standard no more. There is no decorum. Just say whatever, do whatever. It's all for the money and the views. I'm going to think of any ignorant thing to say for the money and the views. Well, I don't want to be a part of that. I'll do it and we'll try to maintain our standard and how we do things. But I was disturbed by that. I was re I didn't find it to be funny. I was embarrassed. While I was watching it live, I was confounded. And I'm watching, I'm like, what, the, what is the joke? Where's the joke here? Number two, what self-respecting person will have, will be talking about sex in a public forum and you have kids and your kids, who, who, who does this? Who does this? Whose parents sits down and starts talking about sex for the whole world? Who does that? Who does that? Nobody does that. Man. I am so disappointed. Not just in Shannon, but what and what sports media is turning into. I cannot, and I mean that. Whoever gonna feel, oh, you did, no, 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 no. Again, I'm not judging him for his mistake. We can all make mistakes. Is all of the other antics that came afterwards that I'm just not rocking with. That's how I feel. Whoever feel a type of way, feel a type of way. That's how I feel. That is exactly how I feel. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, please your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.